Hello and welcome back to a walkthrough. And I'm sorry I haven't recorded in a long while, but oh well. I've just not been in the mood really. Um, so welcome back. This is going to be part eight, I believe. And you may be wondering why we're back here. It's because I found out where to get the experience share, yeah, which I was looking for last episode, but I just couldn't remember. But then I remembered after recording. So I came back here. Um, actually, that person there, if you have a fossil, he will turn it into a Pokemon for you. But that will be later on in the game. I've also sped it up for that reason. You can come here after you've uh, delivered the letter to Steven, and he will give you the experience share. And then, so we're going to go and straight away attach that to Magikarp. And hopefully, he will learn some new moves. And uh, anyway, let's remain sped up because we're going to go back to Slateport. I've actually changed my mind on my teaming because there's one Pokemon that I specifically like, and I was thinking, well, I want to use that um, to take a protein. Okay. Well, anyway, we're gonna go back to Slateport, so I'll pause the video and I'll be right back. And welcome back. Um, we're just taking the boat ride back. So, in case you're not sure where we're going, watch the previous episode, and you should know. Um, anyway, um, last episode, or last part, I made a mistake, and I said that you could leave Brawly, the second gym leader, till last. You can actually only leave him till fourth, because your dad, who's the gym leader in Petalburg, you have to defeat the first five gyms in order to get to him. So, I mean, the first four, and you can't progress to any others, so you have to do him fourth. Anyway, what I'm doing is I'm going into this place, this building. You should be able to see where I've went. I don't remember the place. You pretty much have to speak to him. And last episode, you may remember we stood in line here, but now they're gone, and I'm going to stop speeding up. And so we're going to go in, and uh, unfortunately, it does cost 50 um, pounds, I'm going to say, 50 poker money. Um, so I'm actually quite on money because I've bought a load of repels. I'll just show you 88. I don't even think that'll get me throughout the game, but I prefer normal repels to max repels. Anyway, I'll talk to this person and he'll give you TM46, which I don't remember, but all I remember is that guy gives you a TM. And yep, we screwed off his plans. And okay, um, hopefully this episode we'll be getting our next team member. So, let's look forward to that. I find it lags this when I'm going faster in speed, but oh well. Anyway, this is Captain Stone. And you couldn't get in before you spoke to that guy. But anyway, you give him the pass and Team Mac will come. And, hoo -hoo, hold it, we'll take those parts. So basically they want to take the parts and you have to fight them. So, both of them will fight you. So, yeah, don't come unprepared with weak. Pokemon or something, but we have Ninja up front because we're hoping that he might be able to kill something because it's the lowest level drawing of Magikarp. Uh oh. I, mean, I may be just killing myself here because this Carvana knows rough skin and that's hurting me. And I'm getting hurt. And one more attack and that should kill it. I never thought Rage was that gonna move. I guess it's just because I didn't understand it, but I don't know. Anyway, that's finally dead. Uh, most of that damage was done by Rough Skin. Only like three of it was done by actually attacking. I was dead, and he's dead now. And now the other person will attack you. So as always, be prepared for a battle might want to have some healing items on you I personally don't use healing items until the Elite Four anyway as we battle I want to talk about something uh, Abra which you can find in the cave I can't remember what it's called next to Jewford you can find Abra there and it has a 5% it has a 5% chance of sorry it has a 5% chance of uh, holding an item called the Twisted Spoon which is an item I want because it powers up psychic type moves. And uh, one of the Pokemon I want has well, no psychic, basically. So, yeah. 
that's why I'm going to do that off screen now because like I said 5% chance and they tend to be quite hard to catch especially because I'm a person that only uses pokeballs anyway I'm going to switch out real quickly because I just want to get rid of this Carvana before it rough skins my ninja to death and we're going to make a drain hopefully we won't flinch yay so yeah that's pretty much it or so you think it is the so wait and see what happens now because we've just ruined their plans and then out of nowhere actually not out of nowhere out of the staircase there'll be the team aqua leader Archie I think I'm not completely sure because I played Ruby before yep Archie and we're just going to speed this up and yep okay okay he's gonna go and then Captain Stone's gonna thank us for bringing the parts and we're gonna head over the goods and yeah so he's gone now and we can just leave there's nothing of use in there and let's quickly heal because now we can head up to the next round but first of all I want to catch my next team member yay and I believe doing from those paradise heal I haven't played this in a long while like I said so we're gonna put him up front so he can power I mean stun spore paralyze heal that's an item anyway he knows he knows stun spore so hopefully that will help me catch it it's not an oddish it's not an electric wait I'm, I'm ruining it pretty much what was I gonna nickname it what I get oh yeah it's a zigzagoon you know it why did I just run from it yeah it's not a zigzagoon I would have caught it earlier if I wanted it it's a gold pin and I'm going to stun spore it it's kind of strange that it's a girl because when it evolves it has a mustache thing I don't know. Wow. That was a crit. I'm not happy. Doomshroom needs to get stronger. Oh good, okay, let's catch it, let's catch it. It, it knows poison gas, I don't really want to be healing again. Okay, there we go. Back to normal speed as we call a gulping. And I'm just... I don't actually remember what I was going to nickname it, so let's look at... If I don't know what to nickname something, I look at its Pokedex entry. Um, okay. That doesn't bring a nickname to mind. Let's just call it. Um. I hope I spelt mustache right, but it ends up having a mustache. And it's sent to the PC. Oh my goodness. Oh well, we want to level up on Magikarp anyway, we'll do something like that. And first trainer, and here we come. So this person, this is a, a route with electric type Pokemon. So ground type Pokemon will help you out a lot. And I believe that's electric's only weakness. Water type Pokemon will not work very well for you. And I kind of forgot, ugh. That is a very common move on this route which will annoy you, so you might even want to bring paralyzed heals, but I'm not bothered I'll just go heal every now and then because <laughs> I don't like spending money on items, and I can't afford items because I spent all my money on repels and that didn't work very well oh don't do this okay this is gonna be a long battle stop it yeah, I think Mega Drain's doing more. Um, let's do that then. A crit? Are you kidding me? Stop it! This is just annoying. This is oh, not a berry, arm berry. That will pretty much heal you fully. Not really, but it will heal you enough to be annoying. See, so yeah, this route is very annoying. The first train about when I'm already paralyzed and. Mm, fairly hurt. I'd not, the paralysis is the most annoying part of this route. So wait. Um. Yep. Yeah. Mudkip would be a great starter. Just because of these rounds, if I'm honest. 
And I have slave two there, but really I don't need slave two anymore due to my um team change. I was actually gonna use it on Moldo, but I actually played Ruby recently and I used it, so I don't really want to use it again. But I actually used another Pokemon when I played recently and I liked that one so much that I wanna use it again. Only two times, are you kidding me? Come on. Oh no! The Orenberry. And they're level 15 as well, so unless you're like are powering up one Pokemon, then it's quite a difficult battle. But I have five now. So yeah, I'm gonna be quite under leveled when you think about it. Normally by this point in the game I'd probably have two or three. But I have five. So I'm finding it quite hard to kill things. As you can see, and yay! It's dead! Oh, Ninja's almost leveled up. I'm actually going to go back real quick and deposit some stuff. I'm going to heal as well, quickly. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, we're healed. And we'll quickly switch some stuff up. And we will move some stuff. In case you wonder why that Abra is there, that's because I caught it off screen and I was thinking wait what if that's holding the item I want and it's not we're also gonna take this out because we don't know if our ninja's gonna evolve on the next route at some point so and if it does this is a nice surprise which is a kind of addition to it I'll leave that as a surprise for you oh my gosh just as I get rid of my cut slave okay this person will want to fight oh no what Okay, let's see what moves you know. This is it. That's what we're given. Uh, no, we'll go and fight them. And I still have Doom from up front, don't I? Oh, great. Uh oh. I'm surprised I'm not poisoned, to be honest. I think Doom from will level up at least. Oh my gosh, no. Okay, okay. Blaze, it's time. Don't poison me, please. I'm being very nice to you by killing you very quickly. Uh oh. Okay, just use Absorb, it's fine. It's dead now. And that should be that. Sorry, this is a bit of a dull episode. Dull, dull episode. <laughs> I'm feeling a bit ill. Yay, level up. And let's try and get our two weakest ones trained in this bout. We battle together as one team. Oh, wait, they have mine and plus, don't they? And I have both of these. Let's try and poison and then yawn them both as well. Because that's doing a lot. Oh, they both used that on the same one. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I need to poison them both because that does about as much as my Magic Ops tackle. This is probably gonna be the last battle of the episode as well, so we didn't get far once again. So, yay, that's poisoned. Okay. Oh no. All it did was thunder wave. Oh my gosh. I'm going to heal off screen whatever happens at the end of this battle. I kind of need to be sped up here. I might even do some off screen training because this is getting on my nerves. And my attack's now falling. Both of them are paralyzed. Both. I'm annoyed. Stop growling me. I'm gonna finish this battle off screen, I can tell. Anyway, I'm English Ninja Person. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to try and finish off this walkthrough quickly with occasion other parts. So, look forward to that. Hopefully, you are. And I'm English Ninja Person. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you liked it. Leave a like. If you liked it that much, then favorite it because that's nice. Good night.